I'm going to show you a super easy way to create a custom login page um, that one shows the login button when they're not logged in and then uh, when they do log in uh, it shows uh, their uh, their log a log out button so that you can log back out again so it switches back and forth so I've gone and created a, uh, a div uh, with a little button on it um, at the top right hand corner of my website um, that's called login um, and I did that by going into my admin section and going to my theme template editor and then going to uh, my theme liquid because I want it to show up on every page. And then I have a couple divs that I've added uh, in here, one being um, account. Um, now, now this is where that div is and I have some styles that I've put on this to make it look the way I want it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up a little bit so we can go and put the if statement in here. Uh, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an if statement that checks to see if the person is authenticated. And if they are authenticated, then it shows the logout button. And if they're not authenticated and they haven't logged in yet, it shows the login button. So I've got the code here that I've written. So I'll copy and paste that in and then I'll go through it and show you how we do it. So here's the code here. Copy that fire back over to the theme template and we're going to paste that in here. So the way it works uh, is a simple if else statement. Uh, if uh, shop.customer counts is enabled and customer, we want it to show the logout button. So we kind of want to do it in reverse. We kind of want to say, okay, if they are logged in, you got to give them a way to get out. If they're not logged in, we got to show them a way to get in. So uh, if shop.customeraccounts underscore enabled and customer, give us a, a reference of account logout. This is the standard Shopify address for logout. So anytime you link to this, it'll take you to, it'll log your, your person out automatically. And then the second one here is the login. Um, again, if you redirect them to this login, it'll take you to the login customer template liquid that's over here, which you can style later. There's another video on how to style that up and make that look nice. Uh, so we're going to go do that and hit save. Once that template has been saved, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit here because I like to have my stuff all formatted nicely. we can hop back over to our farmer's market page. All right, so now if I go to login, I get the customer login. I can log in with my username and password here. And once I log in, I get this nice, beautiful logout button and it redirects me to the customer control panel. I then can click the logout button and it'll log me back out again. And that's all there is to it.